Thank you for getting connected with Amazon. How can I help you? Hi, yeah. Uh, I had a missed call and a voicemail saying that there was some kind of suspicious activity on my account. Okay, just a moment, sir. Let me see first. Yes, um, sorry, sir, are you there? Yes. Yes, certainly, sir. There is an account on Amazon for, then there was a purchase for $599, which was made last night. Whoa, what, that was the, the what was the purchase for? Sir, it's an iPhone 11 Pro. Oh, made. I would never <laughs> order that offline. Well, sir, um, I'm sorry, but there was a purchase about that, and there was uh, the payment was made online too, okay? And that is why we are calling you because the account was not legitimate. I believe, sir, that you are an Amazon account holder, right? Uh, I am, but I don't use it a lot for like ordering big money purchases. Well, I understand that, sir. But um, I'm, I'm I'm just simply asking you a question, sir. That uh, how, um. Sir, last time, when did you all purchase anything from Amazon? When was the last time, sir? Um, probably about a month ago. And, sir, was it for... And I, uh, sir, is your account showing any kind of purchase from last night? Did you check your Amazon account? Um, I haven't been on my account because I haven't purchased anything off of it. <laughs> Well, sir, um, I was asking you, okay, I'm providing you one information, okay, because, you see, we need to know that is your account showing any kind of purchase or not, because, sir, according to Amazon survey, okay, we have found that there are certain hackers who are hacking people's IP addresses. I believe you know what's an IP address, right, sir? Uh, I think it has something to do with, like, the computer address or something. Okay. Yes. It's see, the IP address work is to provide internet to all the devices you have at your home. Okay. It's maybe your your computer, your laptop, your smartphones, your tablets. Okay, your IP address is directly connected to all these devices. And what these hackers are doing actually is that they are simply hacking those IP addresses, and after that they are stealing informations from there, because your IP address is directly connected to your device. They are stealing information from there, and they are making a different account on Amazon. And that is why I was asking you to just look at you into your Amazon account that is it showing any kind of purchase or not. And that's how we are going to find that are they using your Amazon account or did they make a new account on Amazon, buy your information. Okay, let me go on and look. I'll pull it up on my phone. Thank you very much, sir. Give me one second. No problem, sir. I'm not seeing any purchases. I mean, I'm only seeing the purchases I had made about a month ago, which was for crochet materials. Okay, so um, as I was saying you, sir, it's definitely that they have used your information and they had made a different account on Amazon. Oh, okay. Okay, sir, I'm giving, I'm providing you more information I have with me. So, uh, sir, whenever, okay, these hackers are done hacking IP addresses, what they're doing, they are simply, provo they are simply putting that IP address over the internet, which means, sir, that before hacking, your IP address was your personal information. Means you should only know about your IP address. But after hacking, okay, when these hackers hack the IP addresses, they are putting that IP address over the internet. And sir, if they really hacked your IP address, okay, if they really used your IP address to get those informations, it would be over the internet by now. Okay, just take a moment of your precious time, sir. Just go to your Google, okay? And just search, okay, that what is my IP address. Just check it, okay. I'm telling you as an information. And if you see any kind of bunch of numbers 
over the internet, then there must be some problem for you. Okay. Well, I don't use, really use a computer. I use mostly my tablet and my phone. Yes, see, you see, this is the main problem, sir, okay? These hackers, they see, if, when they see that a computer, a device is not getting used as per day, okay, they try to use it, okay? Because people think that I'm not going to use it for maybe two to three days, okay? So the hackers think that they're not going to get sus suspected, okay? Okay. Am I making myself clear? Am I making a point? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're making yourself crystal clear. I just don't understand. I completely understand how they were able to, like... So am I getting charged still? No, I'm sorry, sir. But as we found that the account which was used to purchase that particular product, okay, and the, there was a payment last night, okay, as we found that the account was not legitimate, all we asked our accounting department to not to charge you yet. Okay. okay. We asked the department to at least give the account holder at least 48 hours to settlement this problem, okay, and to fix the problem. Okay. So no problem. Okay. I'm going to provide you the information. Okay. And we'll try to cancel this account, that this illegal account, okay. for your help. Okay. So as I was asking you, sir, that can you see any bunch of numbers when you type what is my IP address over the internet. Yeah, a bunch of stuff came up. I can't make heads or tails of it though. Uh, is is does it say your see, public uh, see, IP I'm, address? I'm, I'm, I'm the na I'm the national crochet world champion, and I can't have this happening to me right now. Because I use my computer to look for patterns all the time, and it's just okay. really annoying to me that this is happening. Sir, I'm sorry, sir, but um, I'm sorry to tell you, sir, but you're not the only person, okay? As you know, that all over the country, it's happening again and again. You can see all these this things over the news, okay? And that is why we are calling each and every customer, okay? And we are informing them regarding the problem. So it's and basically it's, some kind of scam? Are, yes, it's kind of scam. It's, it's kind of that a hackers get inside your okay. devices and they scam to you. Now, are they okay, actually this, stealing this, money from me? No, 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 sir. They're not stealing actually money, sir. They tried to, okay, but they can't. Okay, so how do I resolve because it? Amazon, you see, sir, they can't steal money from you, okay? Because whenever you purchase from Amazon, Amazon always provide you a security code, okay? Mm -hmm. I believe you know that, right? Yes. But in this case, in this case, what happened? They gave all the details of yours, even your phone number. And that is why we ha that's how we found that this account was illegal. Okay. That is why we called you instead of giving the security code. So they cannot charge any amount from you. Okay, so no problem. And if um, it's my responsibility, sir, that if there was any charge on that account, okay, no problem. It will be my responsibility to get that money refunded back to you. I'm giving you as much as assurance I can give it to you, okay? So okay. No problem with that. Okay. So I'll get so, refunded sir, back the money? Yes, sir. If there was any charges, okay? okay. I'm talking about if, if there was any charges. Okay. So no problem, no problem with that, okay? So, sir, um, I'm providing you all, I have information with me, so now you can see that I'm sorry, what's your name, sir? My name is Jignesh Patel, sir. It's okay. Jignesh Patel. Jignesh Patel, it's, okay. Yes, it's Indian, sir. Okay. So no problem. So, uh, as I was asking you, sir, that... You have this information with you, okay? You have this IP address with you, which helps you to refund, get, you get to refund money back to you, okay? Just take a pen and paper and note it down, okay? I'm providing you the information you have, okay? Just take a pen and paper and note it down your IP address. Let me find a pen and paper. Okay. And sir, I'm providing you one more information that I have with me. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you one simple question, sir, that, sir, I believe you know that your computer, uh, Microsoft, is the world's largest operating system right now in the world, okay? I believe you know that, right? Oh, I would assume so. I mean, Bill Gates is the man right now. <laughs> yes. You see, that... I'm, Except for that divorce Micro thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she's going to get a nice chunk bad. of change. <laughs> 
that's very nice sir. that's cool okay you see sir that Microsoft okay whenever a hacker or unknown person okay apart from you apart from your family apart from outside okay if anyone can it tries to get inside your computer your computer always provides you errors and warning information did you did you did you saw any kind of errors and warning information in your computer in the last few weeks not that I can recall. Every so often when I start it up, I might get some kind of error on it that I just click out of. Why, why sorry, you didn't, you didn't saw what type of errors and warning you're receiving? Um, sometimes I get, I think it's a DLL error or something. No, sir, you should be looking at that because those errors and warnings are information that your computer is trying to provide you. Your operating system was trying to provide you whenever hacker a hacker get inside your computer without your information, without your knowledge, and without your permission. Okay, your operating system always provides you that er errors and warning information. Now, should I call some kind of tech support to take a look at my PC? Now, or? No, 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 it's not, it's not that, okay? It's not that. Okay, it will be safe. You don't need to worry about anything, okay? You see, sir, just look at your keyboard for a moment, okay? I'm, just, I'm simply going to tell you that how you should find out those errors and warnings, okay? So no problem with that. Just look at your keyboard for a moment, okay? okay. On the left hand side, on the left hand side, bottom corner, can you see a key, control key, C T R L key? Yes. Just beside that, what key can you see? Um, it's the little like uh, window with the four boxes. Certainly. So now you press that, okay? But do not release it, okay? Just kindly press that. Okay. And with the other, fin other finger, press the letter R, R as in rows. Okay. B both at the same time. And now, can you tell me, sir, what can you see on your uh, screen right a now? A little run box came up. Yes. And you will see an option. We'll see, you will see a space where you can search anything, right? Um, it says open. Open, yes, exactly. I'm telling you what you have to search, okay, over there? Okay. A moment, okay. Hello. Yes. Yes, sir. Just type it over there, okay. E as an elephant. Okay. V as in Victoria. Okay. E as an elephant again. Okay. N as in nose. Okay. T as in tiger. There was T as in tiger. Yes, certainly, okay. sir. V as in Victoria again. Okay. W as in Wilson. Wilson. R, Wilson. Okay. W as in Wilson. Okay. Okay. R as in rose. R as in rose. So that's e v that's e v e n t v w r. Yes, certainly, sir. And okay. then you will see an option that says OK. Can you see that? Yes. Just click on that, okay? Okay. And when you click on that, now what can you see, sir, on your screen? Um, I can see that I'm on the phone with a scammer. Sorry. I can see that I'm on the phone with a scammer. You think I'm gonna let you on my computer? But I, I didn't. I didn't ask you to just uh, look at your computer. Why are you saying like that? Sir? I know where this is going. Any... Don't don't bullshit me, dude. <laughs> I know you're full of shit. You like scamming people every day. You you like trying to steal from people. Uh, should we call him back? I don't even remember his freaking first name. I just know his last name was Patel. I'm surprised he actually gave an Indian name. I'm I'm shocked as all hell he gave an Indian name. Yes, it's true. I am the national crochet champion of the world. Or of the United States. Um... I have many trophies to prove it, medals, all of that. So, uh, 
Oh, Lord. These are going to get funner as I do more of them. <laughs> um, if you have any ideas for storylines you'd like me to use. Um, I didn't even get to use my freaking name. I had a good name pick, but I'm not going to say it because I might use it later. But, uh, yeah, so that was my, uh, that was episode two of today's scam bait call. <laughs> God, I ain't letting this punk ass on my computer. Come on. What am I, stupid? Uh, but, hey, there are older people and shit that get scared and fall for this crap. And these people take advantage of them. So, you know, I'm going to uh, flood this phone number for a little bit and until uh, it gets disconnected. Or they at least block me. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> okay. Everybody have a great day and uh, talk to you later.